My dear viewer, dear friend, we want to welcome you again to our programs. Remember, we are focusing on hope in uncertain times. And today, we're going to talk about technology, another aspect of, you know, our life today. In fact, without technology, how can we do evangelism today? And with me is Haggai Abuto, the Director of Information Technology in East Central Africa Division. Welcome, Elder Haggai. Thank you so much. Great. Today, Haggai is talking about church management finance system, and that is CFMS, right? Yes. Okay. So, but before we delve into that topic, please, would you pray? Thank you so much. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for the opportunity to discuss matters concerning thy mission. We are just instruments in thy hand, and we avail ourselves to be used of thee. We pray that thy Holy Spirit may fill us, even as we talk about matters technology. And dear Lord, at the end of the day, may thy name be glorified, because we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes. Well, Haggai, maybe one about technology and the church, because our church has embraced technology since time immemorial, and technology is part of it. It's not an afterthought. But the idea you're introducing to us today is about managing funds of the church. It is accountability. But without further ado, please tell us what is CM, CFMS? Thank you so it? much. Thank you so much. CFMS stands for Church Finance Management System. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a system that offers end-to-end -end finance management right from the local church to the conference level. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it provides visibility at the union level and at the division level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, that is what uh, CFMS does. Okay. I know you have covered many projects yes. in your department, yes. but this has a history. Yeah. How did it come to our church? That's a very important question. Let me just give you a little background. The church in East and Central Africa Division has endeavored to utilize the many technological avenues provided by digital innovations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So first, in the recent past, we started the process of making sure that all membership data mm -hmm. is in a web-based uh, database management system. And that means that every work that is done by the secretarial department mm -hmm. and any clerical duties are done on a web-based system. And that means also that all the transactions, like transfers of membership, is done there. And also all the historical records of transactions are preserved for posterity. Mm -hmm. Now, this gave us a foundation to introduce other things. Then we thought about charge finance management system. Because now that we had sorted out the secretarial mm -hmm. issues, mm -hmm. time was ripe for us to now to sort out the finance management process. Okay. Right. Well, and you are a problem fixer, <laughs> if we can say. Yes. So, but what are these projects, and, and, and specifically CFMS, yes. what is it solving? Thank you. Just before I, I talk about what it solves, I like to say that the technological innovations that mm -hmm. we are undertaking mm -hmm. resonates or is consistent with the teaching of Jesus Christ. You know, Christ always endeavored to give us a better way of doing things. One story that inspires me in the Bible, in the book of John 21, Peter and his friends mm -hmm. have spent a whole night trying to fish, but they get none. Then in the morning... The Bible they, says they caught nothing. Nothing. <laughs> and you can imagine with all the expertise mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all the traditional mindset, mm -hmm. they were not able to do that. Mm -hmm. Then Christ tells them, come and cast your net on the right side of the boat. I want to use the right as a sign of direction, but also right as the right process. 
So Christ was showing them a better way of doing things. This has inspired us. So when we were doing the membership management training, there was a lot of feedback coming from the members of the local churches that guys give us a solution that is going mm -hmm. to help us mm -hmm. in the treasury. Mm -hmm. And so when the ECD leadership took up this and gave us the support necessary to implement, we hit the ground running. So now the question is, what is what, how does it work, mm -hmm. CFMS? Mm -hmm. Now, CFMS provides a way for a church member to give tithe and offering. If you have cash, CFMS takes care of that. If you have money in your mobile phone, CFMS provides for that. If you have a, a giving in kind, CFMS provides for that, even check. Mm -hmm. But what we are trying to do is to make this process easy for the treasurers. So how do we achieve this? We are primarily uh, promoting the use of USSD. Mm -hmm. That means with your phone, you can dial a digit. In Kenya here, the digits that you dial is star 369 star 7 hash. Mm -hmm. When you do that, it gives you a menu for you to select tithe, you put the amount, combine offering, you put the amount, development, you put the amount, cup meeting expenses or offering, you put the amount. If you have any departmental giving activated by the treasurer of a local church, it also appears in the menu and you're also able to give. Then once the collection is done, then we have automated this process, process in such a manner that the, the tithe will go 100% to the bank account of the conference. Mm -hmm. The combined offering will be split as per policy 50-50%. 50% to the local conference account, 50% to the local church account. Development and any departmental offering or any other giving approved in the church will go direct to the local church account. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that means that the process, every, anything to do with the giving is sorted out. So it, it streamlines the process yes. and it fosters accountability. Absolutely. Okay, yes. okay. Now, some people are technophobic. Yes. <laughs> Even as you explain, they say, wow, and, and no, 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 no. We, we just want to see things. We, we don't trust those digital uh, processes. We, we are even afraid. Can you allay their fear? Yeah, you know, you know when we, the beautiful thing is that uh, in the region where we exist as a, as a division, people have been using digital technology. Mm -hmm. For example, right now, if you want to do any transaction, mm -hmm you have to have some money in your mobile phone. Mm -hmm. Either use pay bill, buy goods and all that, mm -hmm. right? So it's like the ground is already prepared for us. Okay. But again, as you say, there are some people who still feel that the traditional way is the best, right? And Pastor Bagambi at some point addresses this very well. Okay. But I should say, I would say that we do a lot of training, you know, and making this process very easy. Mm -hmm. And remember, if, it, if we are talking about a phone, you don't have to have a very sophisticated phone. Okay, okay. Just your small phone, very basic feature phone, should be able to serve you. Okay. Right. So we do a lot of training to allay any fears. Mm -hmm. And then the fact that uh, someone interacts with the system with very less human intervention gives people confidence in the process of giving. Okay. Right. So b before we wind up, uh, yeah. what are you proud of? since the beginning of this process? Absolutely. Uh, I, um, what inspires me is the feedback that you get from mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the local churches. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine, Elder Prince, that there are some treasurers who, because of their role of counting money every Sabbath afternoon, have never attended Bible studies? I see. Because they have to get money from the envelopes where we put them in, they count and record. But in this process now takes away this because you're able to send your money directly to the bank. So the ch church treasurer, he just needs to, they just need now to log in and see what has been collected on uh, a daily basis, mm -hmm. right? Then another thing is uh, there was fear by some people that if they give something like a dollar, it's a bit embarrassing. Mm -hmm. 
But now that this is now not subjected to somebody coming to read what I've given, okay. the system has it. And you know, this system also provides for anonymous mm -hmm. giving. So if for some, some reason you don't want yourself to be identified, all right? I've been to some churches where they operate in a crisis prone areas that, and they don't want their names to be revealed. So the system provides for that. So there's a lot of benefit this system brings. Another thing is that this system not only is concerned by, with collection and disbursement, but everything that you need as, as far as accounting is concerned, mm -hmm. the system avails. Mm -hmm. For an accountant, you can upload the church budget, mm -hmm. you can manage expenses, mm -hmm. all departmental expenses. I see. So at the end of the day, you can do your finance statement. Okay. Yes. Maybe one statement yes. that tells our viewer yeah. that what you're doing is mission, it is evangelism. You, you, you are not a, a technical guy sitting, dealing with machines without caring. Please, as we wind up. Worship. Worship is, uh, uh, sorry, giving is part of worship, right? Mm -hmm. And so what we are trying to do is to make it easy for you, right? Can you imagine you are a trader? At the end of the day, when you have, after you sell all your items, you are able to quietly pray, then send your tithe mm -hmm. and offering at mm -hmm. the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You know, you are connected with the divine source because you know that the sales have done. It was not by, 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 by my might, right? Another thing is that evangelism depends on resources. Mm -hmm. It doesn't uh, exist in a vacuum. There must be a resource base. So when we, we manage our finances very well, then it's very easy to plan for it because we're able to do, see a giving trend. We're able to see how we can allocate. We're able to do projections and for planning. Mm -hmm. So then if you want to do any evangelism program, you know how money is coming in and what can be spent for what purpose. Amen. Yeah. Hello, thank you, Elder Haggai, dear viewer. That marks the end of our short conversation, and I know that by applying all those advices and tips from Elder Haggai, you will be able to cope with the current situation of technology. At the same time, you will streamline all your methods to be a good steward. May God bless you.